Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, 3.6 degrees Celsius. Actually, when I got up, it was a lot lower. <laughs> it, was, it was just above freezing. <laughs> yeah. One of the viewers says, how long are you going to be going out on your, on your motorcycle, like with this cold weather coming? Well, the answer to that is, uh, as long as I can, as long as the streets are not slippery, I'm going to go out, even if it's only for maybe five, ten minutes. Uh, I'll bundle myself up warm and I'll put on my heated gloves and <laughs> I'll get out. Uh, but <laughs> they won't be big, long rides, I can tell you that. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, now, what do we got going on here? Well, we're probably going to see the sunrise this morning. Yeah, the, the sky is clear. That's probably why it's so cold. It usually happens that way. When it's, when it's clear, it gets cold. You have cold mornings, at least, at least here in Winnipeg. So, uh, uh, I haven't seen the walkers, so, uh, but I'm sure they came by. We'll find them. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something at the end of today's episode. We'll see what happens. I say that a lot, don't I? Well, it's because I don't know. I don't know what the day's going to bring forth. It, it never... I'll tell you what I do know for sure. I'm not going to get as much done as I think I'm going to. It just never seems to happen. I don't think ever have I come to the end of the day at the model table and said, Well, boy, that sure went good. I got a lot more done than I thought I was going <laughs> to. No... No, we don't. We don't have that. Uh, but what we are going to try to do today is uh, is get this this part here glued on, and then this last pipe can get put in place. Then maybe <laughs> we'll we'll uh, put the decal on this part right here. Uh, that that's the plan, you know. Talk is cheap. Talk is easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have any other news? Not, not really. We're ready for Missy the dog. Um, oh, uh, one thing I did do of interest yesterday. I, I went in the backyard. You know, in the back where I have the camera that uh, it's actually actually this one right here that you can just see the sun just starting to peak right now as I speak. Okay, so that camera there, number sixteen. Uh, I, I, I took my selfie stick out where that is, and then I extended it as far out as it would go, and I raised it up as high as I could. And I, I estimate, and I'm going to think in feet, because I'm, I'm old, you know. I'm, I know that we've been in metric for 50 years or more, but I'm still thinking the other way. So, uh, I think that I, I was holding on to the this end of it, and the camera was as far up as it could go, and I'm thinking that probably the lens was 16 or so feet high off the ground. And I was uh, pleased to see that I could actually see the trees on the other side of the bridge. In other words, I could almost see the horizon clearly. Um, so uh, I'm still thinking about maybe making a uh, uh, and uh, some sort of a a little tower of some kind that I can put that number 16 camera on so we can get up and see over top of the neighbors uh, lilac bushes which are you know they in this in the summertime when the lilacs are, are out it's really nice but uh, for the rest of the year when we want to see the bridge or the, the horizon or the sunrise they're kind of in the way <laughs> And, and I think they'd get really upset if I went and snipped them off on the top, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, that big tree that's in the backyard, it's called a Manitoba maple tree. And uh, when, when, when I first moved here, in fact, yeah, I think it was when I first moved here, the, the people that lived next door at that time in Max's house, they, uh, they had planted that tree. And I am not exaggerating when I say it was it was as short as me. It was a spindly little thing. I, I didn't know what it was at first. And then they sold out and they moved. And I was thinking, do do I want a tree growing right there that close to, to my roof and everything? 
and I thought, and the thought crossed my mind, I should, I should pull it out. And it was, it was small and spindly enough that I could have done it, but <laughs> that's not the neighborly thing to do. I mean, you, you, you don't go out and uh, pull out the neighbor's tree <laughs> that they planted, uh, no matter how badly you might want to. Anyway, look at that tree now. It's, it's like huge. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet you that tree weighs five thousand pounds. Yeah, I'll bet you it does when it's got leaves on it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. What? <laughs> this is we're not, we're not supposed to be talking about trees. We're supposed to be talking about what we're going to do here. So let's uh, let's recompose. I think we we had uh, concluded that the next thing we were going to do was try and get this this piece on. Uh, so uh, let's uh, upend our little part here. I'll, I'll just use my clamp and uh, grab onto the crankshaft. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that should, that should work. I'm very, very careful. There's, a, there's only a few places now that I can grab this thing. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good, I think. I think it's starting to look pretty good. We're we're almost we're almost done it. Like uh, I know there is stuff that we have to do on it in in, in forty four, uh, but in forty four we are also uh, going to be putting it on that uh, on that base that we made. So uh, it's moving on. It'll we'll soon be at the uh, at the last uh, the last module, which uh, I believe is called the uh, rear torpedo room or something. And then after after those six modules are all done, we start working on the on the main hull. Uh, I can almost see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it might not be Christmas. You know, Christmas is in uh, was it three months? Okay, let's just uh, I, don't make me have to think. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's like it's like my neighbor Max. He comes over and. And I'd been might have just come back from the motor on the motorcycle, and he'll come over for coffee, and he'll 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 say, "Where did you go?" My brain freezes. I I sort of know where I went. I went that away, but <laughs> but he he'll want to know what streets I went down and stuff like that. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> well, I I can, but I have to start at the very beginning. Uh, you know, okay, I, I see. I, I I pulled off of the off of the driveway here, and and uh, I went that way. Oh yeah, and then I went down Donwood Drive, and I turned right on on uh, on Rothesay, and the, you know I have to do it in order of how I did it. Otherwise, I can't remember. <laughs> and then I have trouble remembering the names of the streets too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, let's recompose here. This. Uh, this is uh, really getting, uh, should I reshoot this? This isn't very, very good opening. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get at it here. We might have to recompose a bit here. Um, anyway, we've got to try and stick this on the back there. I think I can see where it goes, but I want to double check the, the manual here. Let, just let me uh, recompose the camera a little bit here. Okay, I was trying to set everything up so that you'd be able to see the this this area right here nice and sharp at the same time as you can see right in here. Now, first of all, you know what, I'm going to superimpose this, this area 
off to the side, a photograph. And uh, you can see right here, there's a, there's a little notch right there that my tweezer is almost going into. All right. Now, on this piece right here, oh, and everything is upside down here. I know it's upside down, so you have to get your head around that. Okay, you notice there's there's a, on this piece of photo. Let's just see if I can hold it here. Yeah, the, you can see there's a, a a little tongue sticking out, and that is actually supposed to go into that notch. And then I I get the feeling, and this is this is actually going to be the first time I'm trying this. I get the feeling that. That is supposed to support this entire thing. It doesn't fasten anywhere else, like a tripod or... I might have to take and, and move everything here, because I'm having... Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying this, and I'm realizing now that... Oh, maybe it maybe it will sit like that. Uh, if I change the angle just slightly here, uh, yeah, just 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 let me uh, recompose here a bit. I I got to twist this thing around, but when I when I twist it around so that I can see it good and get, you know, can get in here good, then you can't see it. And we all know that the viewers are what's important here. Uh, let me check the monitor. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to recompose here. So why don't I do it then? I guess I just can't stop. It, it almost wants there, but it's it's leaning up against something. Uh, you probably can't see it here, but this is, is leaning against the uh, ex exhaust pipe. <laughs> so that, it, that wouldn't that, that wouldn't be uh, like that. So anyway, let me recompose here. Okay, let's try this again. I think I've got it so that uh, we can both see it. There's that little notch right there that. This this part right here has to go into, and I'm going to use Tony's tweezers to hold on to it because I notice I'm scratching it with the other ones. Um, let me grab, get a little bit of different grab here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I've got the motor leaning over to its side, probably about 20 degrees, so that this part will have a tendency to want to stay in there. Well, yeah, it stays in there, but that's not where I want it to stay. Okay, it is basically in the right place now. It's just not at the right angle. Okay, it has to go something like that. And it looks like it's only going to be supported by that where the photo edge piece attaches to the back of the motor. In other words, where that little where that little slot is. Um, yeah, um, I, 
I don't know if I should take it out of there and I don't know what else I can do unless I was to maybe take and use some of my my CA thick. Let's, let me take this out of here. Um, maybe maybe what I should do is, is scrape the paint off of the end of that. This is going to be this is going to be a exercise in frustration here. I'm going to end up breaking this thing here. Now, this side that I'm working on right now is going to be sort of in behind. Oh, by the way, this is the CA thick. I think it'll give us a little bit more working time. Okay. So being is that it's in behind, we we are not going to be able to see that there's a big blob of CA glue there. Okay, now we're going to want to have the angle just right, right? Let's let, me, let me look down on this now. It's it's not quite right because this this part here should not be leaning against the engine. But right now, for all intents and purposes, now you've got to remember that on the top here we have to fasten fasten a little pipe which has to go somewhere. Should should this thing maybe be shoved a little bit more more this way? I'm going to have to just angle this out of your field of view. Sorry about that. No, that that uh, that uh, tongue is in the slot. Okay, I'm guessing half an hour or so has passed here now. And uh, what I did was I reinforced that that uh, connection. And it's sort of built up there almost like a little gusset. Now, we have to remember that when we are viewing it, we are, we are going to be viewing it from, from this angle right here. We're not going to actually be able to see that the, you know, it's a bit of a mess. I'm not even going to bother to try and repaint that. Um, I, I do, I like to show stuff being done uh, on camera, but there was, to, what I did was after I built it up, I used a little bit of the uh, curing agent. Uh, it, it could be that, that the whole thing is, is maybe a little bit, you might say, down on on this side, maybe I could, but I I don't think I can change it now unless unless I was to bend the uh, yeah it's 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 <laughs> it's it's solid in place there. Um, now let's see if I can do this while we're still on camera here. There has to be a pipe. I think it goes something, something like, it just doesn't, the manual does not make sense. Yeah, the, it, has, it has to go something like this somewhere. Maybe, maybe what I'll have to do is uh, try and, and uh, look at the uh, painting and color guide. It might by, might have uh, uh, mark, what was it, painting and marking guide, what do they call that thing? Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know the you know the one I mean. 
sometimes it's got drawings better than the manual does. Okay, checking the painting and marking guide. I found out where it's supposed to go. And it goes behind the push rods and underneath the rocker arms. And it actually does fit. Get a little bit more here. It keeps wanting to catch up on on stuff that's like the push rods and what have you. But it's almost there, almost there. Okay, now I know you can't see it from your perspective, but where it comes down on that part that we just glued on, it almost fits perfectly, just like that. I could almost go ahead and just put a little bit of CA right there right now. Um, see if I can angle this so you can see it better. Uh, yeah, so that's that's where it goes. And then, and then it looks like there's another one. Just a moment here. You can see there's a, there's a little place where another one is supposed to go down the side. But we don't do that in this step. Okay, we got it figured out here. Okay, all I've done here now is just swing this thing around and recompose a little bit, but it's still in the exact same place as you saw it before. And we're just going to lift this up here. Now that's not going to be the strongest attachment in the world, but it's uh, it'll hold as long as I don't bump anything here when I'm putting the rest of the parts on. I, I think what I'll do is I'll take uh, the number 77, I think it is, and uh, you know touch this up. You can see here where I've scratched the paint off of the photo etch thing that went on the top here. Yeah, and it'll also cover up that CA, CA uh, glue that we just put on. I'm noticing there's a, a little blemish right here. looking for me? Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she ran out looking for you. <clears throat> oh my, yeah. No. She worries about this. Yeah, she does. Turn yourself around. I have a bad hip. There you go. Sometimes if she's going too fast, she stops and looks over her shoulders and says, are you okay back there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been at Dubai. Oh, three times in five days, and 
feel like my body's been ratcheted one into too tight. <laughs> yeah, the Y is supposed to make you feel better. Oh, training is always like that, whether you're 17 or 77. <laughs> it's yeah. worth it, though. Just get stronger and stronger. One, one of the viewers, his name is uh, Jeff Donahue, mm -hmm. and he lives in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And he sent a, a message uh, yesterday, and he said that his little dog also <clears throat> watches and occasionally will bark. <laughs> well, I was trying to watch your video last night, and Missy came home from her nighttime nap, and she recognized her voice, and she's right into the den, and she's looking at herself in the mirror, and she's just pounding my legs, and she stands on her back leg, bark, bark. Oh, she's so angry that Uncle Ron is giving her treat to some other black dog. <laughs> She's a bright girl, but she does not recognize herself on screen. <laughs> she says, that rat, that rat is... Hey, Missy, come back in here. Is she doing scratching? <laughs> She's licking a paw. A licking a paw. Might have got a thorn in it. Hey, Missy, you gonna come say goodbye to your fans? Huh? Come on, come on up here and say, say goodbye to your fans. Is yeah. there any bacon in it for me? <laughs> yeah, there's no nothing more on the table, so why am I sitting here? Yeah, I can't be bought. Yeah, so we got... But I can be rented. We got uh, Gizmo, Buddy, Bun Bun, Rebecca, and a dog in Colorado. Colorado, we'll just call her Colorado Joe for yeah. now. Well, it could be Jeff will have uh, provided me with a name by now. I haven't checked my uh, comments for <laughs> about Col three, Colorado four hours. Jeff. Colorado Jeff. Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Yeah. Wake it up, Dad. So, well, let's go, pups. You gonna go, Missy? You gonna go home and have breakfast now? Next on the agenda. Well, it's still in Mummy's lap. She wasn't my dog going. Sorry, I almost stepped on you, but. Missy, help. Thanks, Rob. Okay, we'll see ya. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna close the doors in this weather. Missy the dog. Missy the dog. Okay. Now, about our decal. We need decal number 39 and decal number 40. And they are nowhere near as big as they are here on the drawing. They're actually... This is 39 right there. And this one up here is 40. Now, how do I get cut this out of here without losing number 38 because I got to get this one here I, I'm gonna have to recompose here okay at the end of the last scene I think I said something about I wanted to recompose I think that's what I said uh, this is not the kind of recomposing I had in mind I was going to zoom in and we were going to cut our little decal that we need here but uh, life got in the way of the model table. As you can see, it's about eight minutes after one. And uh, Missy the dog has come by already for her noon treat. Time has passed. Uh, I think I said first thing in, in, in this episode, I never get as much done as I think I will. And today is just another one of those days. Now... Uh, you know, uh, it, it's nice outside. I'm going to go for a, a bike ride. I'm going to bundle up in my really warm stuff. And uh, I won't be wearing my banana suit, but I'll look like I, I am. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bike over to Tim Hortons. It's a 10 minute ride from here. I should be able to get there without freezing to death. 
Now I know the thermometer says 15.1 degrees, but it, it's not that warm. It, that's that the sensor is on the side of the house there, uh, and it's getting re heat reflected off of Maxim's house. I'm, I'm guessing it's maybe only about 12 outside right now. It's it's pretty cool compared with what we've had. Uh, now good news, good news. Yeah, here's step 43. I was I was just noticing a little while ago, we are now on step 44. Everything in 43 is done. So we are officially on 44 now. We're making progress. We're getting ahead. Uh, so uh, I'm going to call it quits here. Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well. Maybe we'll see you in Tim Hortons later this evening. <laughs> Uh, all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.